This week our heroes talk about a super secret project that we don't want to spoil in this very intro right here. All this and more on this week's episode of the CC Mouse Podcast. One would say it sounds like they're in person. Welcome to this week's episode of the CC Mouse Podcast. We're good for your ears. I'm Dan, and you can find me everywhere at RFS Dan. And I'm Jess, and you can find me everywhere at Gone to the Snow Dogs and Snow Dogs Vlogs. I'm thinking this week our audio sounds better, a little bit better than usual. Yeah, probably uh, pretty uh, pretty uh, on point. Yeah, almost like we were in the same room. Weird. Here, I'll give you guys one more hit. Bush. <laughs> if you guys haven't guessed by now, yes, I am sitting in Jess's office all the way across the country in a little town. No, not South Park. <laughs> <laughs> but Alpina. In a quiet mountain yes. town. <laughs> I don't think I told anybody, but yes, I am here across the country. But Dan, how did you get there? Don't worry. Don't get ahead of yourselves. <laughs> we got a whole story for this. Yes, we have a whole story for this as I sip on my beer of the beer of the town here. Have you tried? Have you sipped it yet? You haven't sipped it yet. Mm. Oh, we need a... Ooh, tastes better than that natty ice. <laughs> Somehow it tastes a little uh, bit more local than what is if he, we got it in my town. What does the guy what does the guy say? Oh, that's cold? Yeah, that's usually is what, that he, what says. he says. Yeah, he says bush and then he takes a drink and he goes, Oh, that's cold. <laughs> oh, that's cold. Mine's actually kind of room temperature. Oh, that's room temperature. <laughs> Not cold. <laughs> no. Down to my left here is the beautiful Kira and Memphis. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah. Just... So if you guys hear dog noises, that's because the dogs are in the room with us. Yes. I've given him plenty of attention. I've, don't worry, I've given him hugs, one for everyone listening. <laughs> yes, we were running around the backyard. Yeah, you were. Uh, we should set. You know, we should set up the dog obstacle course and film that. Well, absolutely. But with you doing it, not the dogs. I was pretty bummed when you sent me a video yesterday of Jamie mowing the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> on his tractor and i think i said back what did i said back wtf yeah <laughs> i'm like you could not wait a day for me to get out there so i could drive the lawnmobile uh, with how warm it was today and the fact that we we did get a little bit of rain today tomorrow it's supposed to be warm and then th- by friday it'll it'll need to be cut again so it yes. you're you'll get you'll get to cut the grass look look everybody I've come to this i've come to the conclusion of my life that i will never own or ever drive the batmobile so at least I can drive a lawnmobile, <laughs> you know? Have you ever driven one ever? No, but one time Tim the Tool Man Taylor, wait, wait, work with me. <laughs> Tim the Tool Man Taylor on Tool Time, they had this like race where they were racing them. Yes. And they do, uh, one of the, one of the little festivals around here does, well, they have outhouse races, which is a whole nother thing, <laughs> but they also have, lawn- they, have, they have lawnmower races. They used to, in Atlanta, they actually, uh, they used to have um, bed races too. Oh yeah. I yeah. was always uh, winning those ones quickly. I live in the sticks, guys. <laughs> New world record. <laughs> so what happens when you race these things in real life? Do you have to wait till the little grass grows and then you cut them? No. Like, go! And whoever gets done first wins? I don't know that they race them like that, but they do... Uh, like NASCAR? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, they modify them. <laughs> they modify them and put different different tires on them, oh. and like people take it very seriously to race their lawnmowers. That's what we're going to do. I know we already started a Husky racing team, but now we're going to have to start a lawnmower sidecar racing league. You know, you think Jamie's lawnmower is cool? We're going to have to take you out to Greg's house. Greg yeah. has a different style of lawnmower than Jamie does. Jamie just has a normal, like, tractor-looking lawnmower. The one that Greg has, instead of, like, a steering wheel, it has, like, shifter things on the side of it. Oh, so to turn, you, like, go, like, oh, I, don't like know how to, I don't know how to show that yeah. on the podcast, but y'all probably know what I'm talking about. And it goes ten times faster than Jamie's mower. Just it's a zero-turn mower. Just is doing robot hands. I, you yeah. know what? I just realized I'm living the Pauly Shore son-in-law dream. <laughs> Do you want the Pauly Shore experience? <laughs> Find it here. We, we have a tractor out at the farm, like an actual tractor with a bucket on it and everything. I'm afraid I'm going to knock down the fence. It's like that's <laughs> that, that movie showed me what not to do, and I don't want to. But on the other hand, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I want to do it. Uh, my mom today said that we could plant pumpkins. She literally said, oh, Dan's coming. We can plant pumpkins. And I'm like, we can plant pumpkins without Dan. And she's like, well, he can come out and help us plant pumpkins. And I went, y- Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He can. <laughs> For one microsecond, I was like, do you plant a small pumpkin to get another pumpkin? I'm like, no, the seeds. <laughs> the seeds. But if there's so many seeds, there's got to be more seeds in there than any other, like, is it a fruit or a vegetable? Uh, I think pumpkins are, I don't know. They're pumpkins. It's They're like fish. Pumpkins. They're their own thing. What are they? They're pumpkins. Are they squash? 
Oh, yes, probably. Yeah, that sounds smart. So is squash like a fruit or a vegetable or are they just oh, a no, squash? It's a circle now. <laughs> We're back to that. <laughs> We're back to that again. You know, I'm not I'm not sure, but there's so many seeds in there. How come there's not a billion pumpkins? Um, well, there usually is a and billion then, pumpkins. And then we carve them all in and yeah. control the pumpkin we, population. We, just, we take them all. <laughs> we have a five gallon bucket that is over half full of pumpkin seeds. Cause one year we decided to save them and Jamie spread them all over the floor in the garage. Cause you have to let them dry. Like when you pull them out of the pumpkin, they're wet and you have to let them dry before you can plant them. But you don't want them to fully dry. You like partially dry them and then you put them in a bucket. So we have literally over half of a half of a five gallon bucket still of pumpkin seeds see bob barker should have been saying that at the end of the show that'll do it for the price is right don't forget to have your pumpkin carved or neutered <laughs> <laughs> i think i think that's it but yeah i'll plant some pumpkins i'm down for all that stuff it's fun you i think we should just make a whole bunch of little mini series of dan tries i think i'm just getting suckered into chores is that how well, you get me to do chores sh- no no <laughs> is that sh- the secret i don't know what you're talking about i'm gonna sip my latte <laughs> No, you got full. You got full flavored bush there. That's not bush light. No, I don't want bush light. Bush light is a bush latte. Oh yes, because it's a light. Oh yeah. Darn, I messed up. Next time I'll get some bush light. That was in the the, the box with the corn on it. I love Which it. for some reason I saw on Facebook the other day, everybody was looking for that box of bush light beer because it had corn on it. I don't understand. I don't know. I don't drink it, so I don't know. That's because your town has everything. Your town is like, there was this show with Evie called Out of This World back in the day, and she would touch your fingers and time would stop. And I feel like that's what's happening in this town. We just got out of the mire, and I know we're getting ahead of ourselves of my flight and everything. We went to the mire, <laughs> and there was nobody in there. And like I keep asking, how do they stay open? Everything's fully stocked. It there were was... so many toiletries. I'm hoping I get diarrhea when I'm here, <laughs> just there, to be able to there indulge. There will be enough toilet paper for literally everything we have toilet but we, we we are a little low on rice though i did notice that there was like like 10 <laughs> or 12 30 pound bags of rice there How don't tell do everybody need? our secrets they're all gonna come up here and buy our stuff i just ate rice but yeah that's it was <laughs> it was an abundance it was so crazy to see that there's just not that many people up here you had meat in your meat department we did have meat in the meat department it was expensive but it was there but like we were there we were also there after 10 o'clock and they close at midnight so that's another reason why there's nobody there we will drive by there tomorrow on our way back from lunch and you will see how many people are actually at the store i won't go in there but you can you can visibly see in the parking lot how many people are there I've been here a handful of hours at best, and I've had like a half a dozen pickled things. Yeah, we... Yeah. I can feel it. <laughs> we saved some of them for the yes. live stream. What? Are we doing those tomorrow, or are we doing them... Um, here's what's going to happen. Tomorrow, we're supposed to do the CC Mouse fun cast, and then next week, we're supposed to do the food cast. That's what it was. But I'm excited. True. So I never know how hyper we're going to be after tomorrow. Yeah. So we'll see. I'm sure at least we're going to eat... We'll at least eat something. Because yeah. we're going to go back to the mire a bunch anyway. I do have um, the Chips Ahoy cookies with Sour Patch Kids in them. Ooh, I am in. Yeah, we could do those tomorrow. Okay. Because that would be like not a pickled thing. We could even go back and get those s'mores cookies too. And we could just eat cookies. Oh, look at us. We're... It's the CC Mouse cookie cast. Oh. If you give a mouse a cookie, it's gonna be will this... he ask for a glass of milk? <laughs> it's going to be the CC Mouse type 2 cast soon. <laughs> Whew. Man, but the stuff's, the food's been good. You know what's messing me up is the time, because I was trying to think, well, when's the fun cast? Well, it's 5 o'clock Pacific, 8 Eastern. Oh, I'm at Eastern. Yeah, you are. So I'm going to have to eat dinner before the fun cast? No, I can't. Oh, man. First world problems. Yeah. Yes. 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 Normally, normally I eat dinner before we, we do the live stream. See, I usually don't. I get done with that. Well, unless I know we're eating a bunch of random foods, then I eat like a small dinner. Like if I know we're going to be eating a bunch of stuff, I'm like, okay, well, I'll just have like a, like a bowl of cereal or something and that's it. But I eat at like five o'clock. So then it's three hours later that I get to eat snacks. But this is turning into the food cast. What's your go-to cereal right now? S'more cereal. Oh, Crystal's been eating the heck out of that. We have it in stock at Meyer. We should have grabbed some more. Oh man, <laughs> some more. <laughs> oh, oh, where's my where's my sound effects? Oh no, you didn't set up your thing. Just yet. hatch everybody. <laughs> so you got to tell them all about your flight. We like flew right past that. Yes. Oh, oh look, at, that look at you! Oh my gosh, back to back pun championships. <laughs> Holy cow! Better than your Red Wings are doing. Uh, hey, wow. we're not losing right now. Right, it's true. You haven't dropped in the standings. Yeah, exactly. We're we're holding <laughs> our own. <laughs> so, as you guys know, I live in LA County. So, LAX Airport's my airport of choice. And last time I came out here, I flew to Chicago, and then from Chicago, I took a little puddle jumper here. And you flew Delta last time. Yes. Yeah, which didn't look like it was flying into 
Traverse City at all right no, now. No, I, I I looked and it was not. Yeah, I didn't think it was. It was, it was flying to Detroit for like eight a ticket, wow. like eight wow. a ticket. That's crazy. Yeah, and it's it's a lot of money to come out here. It's not cheap. Yeah. This time it was like pennies on the dollar. Holy yeah. cow! So I'm like I'm I don't know what to do. I'm a little apprehensive. I remember telling you like, do I tell anybody I'm coming out here? I don't know how I feel about this. So I got my masks. I got my tickets. I picked my seats. I start driving down the 14 freeway, and. There's some traffic. I'm like, oh, no, because, you know, the town's like desolate right now. Right. So I get past that hurdle and I'm a little scared. I'm still early to the airport. But once I got down towards the airport, there was nobody, 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 nobody at the airport. Nobody yeah. at all. Literally nobody. The pictures you sent me, I just remember being, I was it. I think it was the first, I don't remember if it was the first VidCon or if it was, I think it was the second VidCon because the first VidCon, we rented a car. Yes. When you guys took us to the airport, the second VidCon, and we were like, we have to get to the airport. And we were stuck in that traffic at the airport for, I, it was a ridiculous amount of time. 30, 45 minutes trying to go through that, yes. that loop. You think you're there on time for your flight and you can see where you're supposed to go. Yep. You cannot do anything about Sometimes it. Sometimes it is literally faster to get out and walk. Than it is to wait in that traffic, yes. especially if you're running late, which we we were. <laughs> so maybe I counted a half a dozen cars. That's crazy. At, at a time, I'm sure you know looping around, but a half, right. a half a dozen. We got to go where we wanted. So park, hop out, run in. Nobody at TSA. Everybody's looking bored. <laughs> the TSA people that just throw my backpack, throw my electronics. I was a little concerned because. I had a lot of electronics in that bag. That yeah. bag's full of electronics, so I could do dantics out here. Ooh, something else that we didn't talk about. Surprise, surprise! Ooh, ooh, ooh that's going to be fun. So I get on the plane, and nobody sat in the seat in between me. The other people did, but it was staggered. But I was so lucky that nobody sat there. So, yes, I did have to wear my mask the whole time. Yes, it was a little bit restricting and a little bit claustrophobic. <laughs> but it wasn't as restrictive as you thought think i was still able to kind of push it down a little bit i got a beer before i got on the airplane duh right and i popped it down on my chin and drank my beer and so did everybody else that was in there right but no line for that no line for the burger place the boarding was easy i hopped on the plane so what you're saying is now is the perfect time to fly now absolutely the perfect time the mask thing wasn't too big a deal there was a couple people that just straight up didn't wear their mask and nobody said anything you know and i was reading about like all of the precautions that they're taking on the airplanes and even when it comes to like you know, because some people are worried about the, like, recirculating of the air, but they were... I read all the stuff about the filters in the airplanes and how filtered that air actually is mm -hmm. and, like, the microscopic size of, you know, even, like, the normal flu or COVID doesn't fit through the filter, the filtration system. So, like, realistically, getting on a plane is actually pretty pretty safe. I didn't taste anything. Well, that's that's good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> also, so when I'm, when I'm boarding on the plane, there's these little, like, Bath and Body Works bags little tiny ones maybe six eight inches tall with a little hemp rope thing right and they're like here and i'm like oh thank you i thought it would be some lotion maybe some jeffree star <laughs> right. you know i'm like what is this and it's a tiny little water but they did it all wrong it was an eight ounce little dasani water but they had a huge thing of pretzels and a huge thing of just crackers in there so what are they trying to do to me there's no really, in flight really anything. Right. But like, it's like, it's like starting a fire and I only give you a squirt and to put it out with. Like, it's not <laughs> enough. It's not enough. So I, I was so, this is the, my best move ever. I didn't eat the salty stuff. That was probably a good idea. Right. So I drank the water. I was like, this is really bougie. I like it. I, we got on the plane. But, but, but when you opened the Dasani, did it fizz? No. It says now with hundred percent less fizz on it. Oh. Okay. I did not say that. <laughs> You know, so I'm ready to take off and I'm like, all right, what's my in-flight movie going to be? And there's no TVs in front of me. That, when you sent me that picture, that was probably the strangest thing. Like, what, are they just flying the old airplanes? Like, what is the, you know what I mean? Like, what is, what's happening? Oh, it's old car like Uncle Buck. It was just in there and everything was kind of dingy and stuff. But, you know, then I'm like, wow, like, look how, look how entitled I am. Like, where's my flat screen? True. You got True. 4K? <laughs> So here, here is a confusing part is I didn't know where I was at in the air. Oh yeah. Cause you didn't have a, you didn't have a TV. Right. So you couldn't track yourself. I couldn't track myself, which is kind of well, cool. I can tell you, you were in the air above some states. Yes. So we go to take off and we hear ding dong, your captain speaking. No, we just want to let you know that it's been a rough ride all day today. And I expect this one to be just the same. Sit back and relax. We hope that you enjoy your stay here at American Airlines. <laughs> okay. So I put my earbuds in, clench the cheeks, turn on my Nintendo Switch, and up we went. 
and get ready to hold on tight. Yeah, and there was only a little bit of bumps, not not much. The time change from here to Texas, from LAX to Texas, was really weird because I don't know if my phone changed the time or not. And I'm trying to look, and and everything was favored to my side. So every time I thought I had an extra hour of flight left, I did not. Right. So I'll try to make this fast. So it dumps me off. It dumps me off in Texas, which I got to see a lot of Texas. I got to see the Magic Mountain. I think the Houston Astros or something were playing over there. Don't quote me on that. It was pretty cool. I get off the plane, and then all of a sudden, I feel like I'm in tar. It's slow breathing. Uh It's humid, but the air conditioning is blowing on my face. And it's still hot. Yes. So I have an hour to get to my next plane. And I have home alone, like, parent skills, where I'm running through the airport. I'm shucking and jiving like I'm OJ chasing the Avis rent-a-car place. (laughs) And How far did you have to go from one side of the so, airport to the other? So in, in Chicago, I walked out of the airplane and it's left or right. And I said, where's B at? And he said, go to the end of the corridors and make a U-turn and go up the stairs. So I go to the end. I go up the, the escalator. Uh-huh. And then there's a monorail. And I started making a video on it because I've been vlogging this trip. Right. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, one of these days we're going to have to take a monorail. And it's like, go to – because I was at C. It says, get to B, hop right. on the monorail. I'm like, all right, but it's the longest way around on the monorail. And that monorail is doing like 50 miles an hour. It don't play. People were falling over. I had to hold on. Like, I really had to hold on. I felt bad for the elderly. Right. And so it takes me on this huge monorail thing like Disneyland all the way to my stop. And I get (laughs) off and I run down the corridors. And then, of course, I'm there like 20 minutes early. Right. So I don't want to be, I don't want to take off my mask, even though like in Texas, like not that many people had masks on. I don't know what the regulation is there. I don't know if it's like a you have to wear it or it's a suggested thing. I know it, it's so strange, especially with flying, because every single state has different requirements. So, like, I mean, not that, not saying that you shouldn't wear it, right? But like that might be why some people weren't wearing it. It just might not be a required thing. So maybe they just don't. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so I was. I mean, I was on the airplane and I had it on and I was doing well. And then, so the hot setup is going into the bathroom stall and I can take it off for a minute. Right. I'm like, someone's in here, sir. <laughs> and then I take it off for a minute. I wipe off my face. I recommend if you're flying to bring two masks um, because it will get a little bit damp in there. Right. Oh, and then you got to breathe your, own, breathe your own breath. Oh, bring something for that because <laughs> oof, that was hard. That was hard. I had a beer and I had a burger with onions in it and I put my mask back on. Well, you didn't plan that correctly. No, I've never done this before. <laughs> There was no, like, how to eat in a pandemic. So I get over there. It's, like, seven minutes till I'm starting to board. Right. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So I I ran to the bathroom real quick, and then I got on this plane. But these planes only had two seats on each side. It's a small plane. Yeah. A baby plane. So I had a window seat, and nobody sat in between me on the first flight. But on this flight, you either get a window seat or an aisle seat. It's a smaller plane, but I learned last time smaller means smoother. So I'm like, well, that's kind of weird because we're going to go all the way from Texas to Michigan. I don't know how far that is, but yeah. I know it's another time zone jump. So I'm confused again. So we're sitting there and this time they're like, the captain comes on. He's like, there is no food or drinks or liquid on this flight. Also, ding dong. We've been experiencing high amounts of turbulence all day and we <laughs> expect this ride to be nothing different. Thank you for going on the death machine. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no. And my butt's like, I know, right? And then I'm like, oh, all right. So I put my headphones in. I started playing the switch. And we get up into the air. And I'm all good. You know, everything. And then the, the captain makes the biggest mistake ever. Bing bong. <laughs> yeah, we're just uh, letting you know that the turbulence is about to show up in about five minutes. So hurry up and go to the bathroom. And It's like, if they know it's coming, can you just fly around it? It's like, hey, <laughs> hey yeah. I'm about to punch you in the face in like three seconds. No, just punch me and don't tell me about it, right? <laughs> so I'm like, no way. So everybody's like, you know, all of a sudden everybody has to go to the bathroom. Well, yeah, because he just told you you had to. Yeah. Oh, and, and in this story, there was nobody to the seat next to me. So I'm still in the window seat. Oh, right. And I'm like, oh, man. So it shook a little bit, but it wasn't like when I almost fell out of the sky in Chicago. <laughs> right. But it shook just a little bit. And then I would, and if he wouldn't have said anything, I don't even think I would have noticed a difference. It wouldn't have been, like like you said, it wouldn't have really made a big deal. No. Just a little bit. Just no, a little it was, bump. It was, just, it, it was almost like when you're riding over a crappy road. Like when we were driving on Old State like Road. Yes. Yeah. It was exactly <laughs> like that, right? Yeah, right? So I'm on there for a little bit and I lose track of time by an hour. And I'm like, hmm, I guess I have about an hour left. And they're like, oh, prepare to land. I'm like, yes, yes. 
And I didn't know, I couldn't tell what states I was flying over, but at one point I would see little tiny like monopoly houses, not the hotels, but just the houses and a huge plot of land around everybody. I wonder if it was Kansas. But there wasn't like, there wasn't like farming stuff. Well, I couldn't really tell, but it was only a little house and just a lot of property. Yeah. I wonder if it was like Kansas or Arkansas or one of those like really flat states. I didn't see any tornadoes, but it was really flat there. It wasn't that green. I, it was like kind of brownish. I, it might've been, it might've been. I got some video of it, it to show you. Been one of those, it could have been one of those states because they're kind of more flat and i know you were you were hitting thunderstorms because i drove through one and i knew they were coming across the state so that's probably a lot of what caused your turbulence yeah. with some of these storms rolling across yeah at some points um everything would turn black everything would totally go black outside and then all of a sudden two minutes later you're out of it that's so and then i can see the ground again so i was nervous because there's nothing i can do right right you know, what are you gonna do hold on tuck I, and roll <laughs> i'm all out of fresh air uh, pro tip i had the little I, the little air thing that shoots out on the top i had it shooting down my mask and i deliberately made the mask bigger than i needed it to be just so i could have some breathing in the room but you know somebody was taking a nap on the aisle next to me and his mask just wasn't even on yeah so i don't know so i tried to obey the rules as much as possible there was no in-flight nothings which was that was it was fine like i said i played my switch yeah, I mean, at least you, 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 did you know there was going to be no TVs or you weren't? No. Oh, okay. No. And you know what I almost did? So the other night I was trying to go to the website to see what their movies they're offering was, but I'm like, no, 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 because the 15 minutes you have to sit there before it taxis out, then you can decide. Don't spoil right. it for yourself, Dan. And I got there and you know what I got? I got brick sandwich. <laughs> Just straight up brick sandwich. Nothing. Oh, you're like, nothing. no. Yep. So I almost didn't bring the switch. So I listened to some podcasts. And I played the switch for a while, and it was it was really smooth. It was really nice to be able to get off right in the middle of the flight and stretch and stuff right. for a minute, go to the bathroom, you know, take the mask off your face. But I was just I couldn't stop sweating in Texas. Yeah, yeah, because you went from you went from L.A. to Dallas, and then Dallas to Traverse City. Yes. And normally you go from L.A. to Chicago, and Chicago to Traverse City. So normally, what is it like? A, almost a four hour straight flight, and then like a thirty minute flight or forty five minute flight. Yeah, is yeah. what you normally take. Yeah. So this like I think you were split almost. Two and a half and two and a half. That's is what of, it was. Yeah, I think. Except it was you that. showed up twenty five minutes early and the, I was late. Oh, that's because I saw. I looked out the window and there was a stop sign. He blew through the stop sign. <laughs> I watched him. He's like, ah, I don't mind that. Uh, <laughs> they must have had some good wind pushing them because you were you were twenty five minutes early to land. Well, which was good because I ended up the the first pilot was trying to flex, trying to say we were early too, but uh, I barely had enough time to run to my next flight. Right. But yeah, the other guy got there fast, and he yeah. sounded like a young kid. Yeah. Yeah. So he maybe he just, you know, he knew he wasn't going to get a ticket. Nobody's going to yeah, catch him. Yeah, he's a lead foot. <laughs> he's a lead foot. So, yeah, he, we, we got there smooth. I was pretty happy. It was probably one of the best flights ever because there was just no crowds, no TSA lines, nothing. Nothing at all. I could sit where I wanted to and I was still spread out. There was a USB spot. A USB spot. Yeah. I was so excited. There was a, a place to plug in my USB. Yeah, because my, my switch did run out of batteries at the very end. But, you know, I, I, got, I, bought, I bought myself 15%. I had a, a an eventful time getting to the airport, which nobody's going to believe because on the way back, there was nothing. It was boring on the way back. Like, not boring, but it was like, it was sunny the whole way back. Yeah, I heard you went through a snowstorm. I, well, it wasn't a snowstorm, but it was too hot for that. Because it's like when it gets warm here, like like it was today, it was 88 degrees earlier. It was a nat. I went through a nasty thunderstorm. Like, everybody, it, where I was, the, the speed limit was 65 and everybody slowed down to about 20. Because you couldn't see anything. Is it angry rain? Do you get like big, huge, oh, fat, yeah, angry was, rain? Oh, yeah. It was very angry rain. Like if I would have wanted to film it, which I didn't because I didn't want to take my hands off the steering wheel. Right. I wanted to film it. Like there was a huge part of me that was like, I need to film this because when I left the house, Jamie and I were looking at the sky and I'm like, no, I checked. It's clear in Traverse City. It said it was going to be really nice. Well, I checked Traverse City. I didn't check in between here and Traverse City. I'm like, oh, it's clear in Traverse City. I'm fine. That's stupid. Traverse City is... Two, do- two hours and 20 minutes away. The weather's not going to be the same all the way across the state. So I got 15 minutes away from here and I hit a nasty, nasty, scary thunderstorm, lightning, everything. But it only lasted like 10 minutes. And then, so part of the reason I was late is because I got stuck in a thunderstorm. I was blame I that. believe you. On the way back, I saw, I saw some wetness in the road. Yeah. Yeah. What else did we see? Should we spoil that? Oh, oh, we saw the turtles. Yeah, we did. Yeah, I thought there was a sock in the road. And <laughs> Jess was pulled, started pulling over. I'm like, all right, well, whatever you're into, that's fine. <laughs> and then she flips around and drives back a little bit. And I'm like, what are we doing? You're, you're like a turtle. And I'm like, what is this? What is this? <laughs> and then we ran out to the middle of the street with our cameras, because that's what you do. <laughs> and there was this turtle, but he wasn't like, 
you know how like when you're a kid you see like the tadpole and then you see like the next picture and it's got kind of like some legs and a big tail he had a huge tail it was a snapping turtle it looked just like all the other ones. It had some sharp nails. Yeah. Holy cow. I wanted to try to let it bite my finger, no, but I was did not. advised he could bite your, against it. He could bite your finger off. I will have to show you some really good pictures. Actually, I have a, a very old vlog of us picking up a snapping turtle that was the size of your desert tortoises. Like, it's a huge snapping turtle. The one we picked yeah, up was, was probably, what, maybe five inches? Yeah, maybe yeah. a big breath. Yeah. En- enough that you could palm it. Yeah. Yeah, which I wouldn't do because he'd bite your fingers off. Yeah, he had a long tail, so yeah. we put him on the side of the road, and everything's wet and damp because it, you know, it it had rained. It rained, and then we drive up the road again, and then we're e braking and U turning again. You were on the phone. You were on the phone with Crystal, telling you that the flight with that the flight went okay and all that oh, stuff. Oh right, yes. And I slammed down the brakes. Yep. And I'm like, bye. <laughs> I think I just buy and dump the phone. I, think you did too. I ran out there to grab the turtle. <laughs> And then I put it at the end of the road, and it was uphill, so I felt bad, so I ran it up the hill a little bit. I'm like, here you go over there. Because uh, that's a, it's like a general rule in Michigan, is when you see turtles trying to cross the highway or trying to cross the road, you're supposed to safely stop. I mean, I stopped safely. Safely stop yeah, your car. Stopped. And then you move the turtles off to the side of the road, because otherwise they'll get run over. Yeah, they just want you know? pizza. So. I mean, like you thought it was, you thought that one turtle was literally nothing but a piece of clothing or something, you know? And well, then we almost thought that tire, I thought the tire piece of that tire was a turtle. Yeah. So, because I look for turtles. Yeah, because you're all turtle crazy now. Right, right. Everything's a turtle. I don't know if we did, if we saved any turtles last year. Sometimes it's like, the, there's turtles all the time. Every time we go out, well, there'll be a turtle we've got to help across the road. We don't even vlog half of them because we see so many. And then sometimes it's years where we don't see turtles at all. Oh, and you got to hear the spring peepers. Yeah. That was the other thing you got to hear. I need to see a peeper. Um, They're just frogs. It was loud. Yeah. The one was loud. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's multiples of them. It's the, Hopefully one of these nights it'll be nice and we'll take Jamie's Jeep out to um, Devil's Lake Trail. And there's a spot in the swamp back there where you can park up on the hill and you shut the car off. And you can't hear any road noise from anywhere else because you're so far back in the woods. And the swamp is full of those frogs. And it is like deafening they're so loud and it's it's such a cool it's such a cool experience to just go out there and listen to them that would be a really neat place to do an asmr video for somebody and just film that for hours like just go back there with your camera and your and your nice microphones and film that for hours on end i bet that exists already probably i bet bet that totally exists but not from that spot we saw some flowers we did we saw trillium that i was i forgot to tell jamie that the trilliums were popping trillium means that the morels are out are those bugs too no those are mushrooms Oh. Those are mushrooms that sell for like, what is it, like 60 to $80 a pound. Oh my gosh, let's go mushroom hunting. Yeah, we could go mushroom hunting. All right. You might get introduced to um, ticks. Like from the dog? Like they go on animals? Yeah, they go on people too. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> no, I saw a TikTok. I saw a TikTok the other day. Yeah. And they were pulling one out of this girl's hair. Yeah. It was holding on. It yeah. was holding on. They do. They said they do. Yep. I have a tick twister. Tick No, I've, I've had somebody give me one of those before. <laughs> I am not. I do not want one of those. Is this a joke? <laughs> no, I, I. It looks like it looks like tweezers, and it's got like a little V shape on the end of it. And you're supposed to put it underneath the tick's head, and then you twist the top of it, and it'll it'll instead of like what you saw where they were trying to probably pull it out, it actually twists it and pulls at the same time. I have it for the dogs for camping. I've never had to use it, thankfully. Um, only one of my dogs has ever had ticks. That sounds, that sounds painful. You know, but you gotta be prepared for it when you live up here in the middle of nowhere. So, anyway, so my flight was good. I wore my own shirt. Oh, I go like, hold on. So the other day <laughs> I was packing up to come here and I ran across a stack of my old RFS Dan shirts. The one for the thousands of shirts that I made. And I found a pink one and I texted Jess and I said, is it, is it? bad word to wear <laughs> to wear your own merch and then she sends me back a picture of herself in her own merch <laughs> she's like what's that supposed to mean i was like oh no it, you know it's it's different though because you have your dogs on your merch i just it's just a big it's just my head that's true i wore this one just so just in case anything happened they could identify the body your hair's not up so nobody would know it was you anyway that's true but the color on that shirt almost matches almost your matches hair. my hair yeah so <laughs> i am wearing my own merch which feels weird to me is it like going to a concert and wearing the band's shirt you're not supposed to do that uh may- no i don't know maybe i like that this shirt's maybe. popping and it's comfortable and okay. it's the next size up because i have stay at home weight <laughs> <laughs> i do <laughs> We have comfort food McDonald's quarantine. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I was so excited 
when we when I got off the plane and we went okay. to the McDonald's. <laughs> And what was the name of that? The Double Decker? No, 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 it was no, the, no. The the was, not the McDouble, the Daily Double, the Daily Double, the, Jeopard, that's what it was. the Jeopardy Burger. So we pull into the parking spot, and it said the Daily Double, and I'm like, "What the heck's a Daily Double?" And in the picture, it's a it looks like a McDouble, but it has lettuce and uh, Tomato. tomatoes on it, and mayonnaise. I didn't know it had mayonnaise on the time. I'm like, "Ooh, you're getting freaky, McDonald's." It had mayonnaise on it too. Yeah, it had mayonnaise on it. So we order one, and then chicken nuggets and stuff, and. I'm all stoked. I'm like, this is the best trip ever. I've been here 15 minutes and I'm already doing new foods. <laughs> it was awful. I was like, it was, it was only, all I did was add mayonnaise and lettuce to it. There was no, there was no tomato. Yeah, they forgot the it, tomato. It looks like somebody took the top half of a McChicken and just put it on the McDouble. There That's was no, probably what they did. But they didn't give it, there was, but and replaced it. There was no ketchup with the onions and stuff. The thing that makes McDonald's oh, right. McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. So I was disappointed. Like I was just trying to figure out if I could go back home. Like, well, we're close enough to the airport. You just go ahead and drop <laughs> me back off. I'll just take the I'm next done. flight. You do your McDonald's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I need to go home now. <laughs> this was the first time I ever flew in the daytime, really. Like like just during the day that I can recall. Because every time I come see you I take night flights. Yeah, we were trying to figure that out. Even There's when you no... came here for for ha- for Halloween. Yeah. It was a night and flight. And we usually stay up two days straight. Yeah, it's kind of weird, like that you were here, and then even even we got back to the house. It was only quarter after nine, so even the fact that like you were here and it was quarter after nine, and everything was everything kind of just went smooth, I guess you could say. Yeah, it, well, yeah. You were here, and it was it was like okay, well now we can go to Meyer, and now we can do stuff, and now we're podcasting. Which this was a debate: do we do this before you get here? Do oh, we wait gosh. till you get here? Do we wait to tell everybody when it's live? What do we do? We almost weren't friends anymore after that. What do we talk about? <laughs> what do we talk about? What do we talk about? <laughs> <laughs> so it's been great so far. It's been great so far. I've done a lot of things, and it's just night one of. I don't know, I'll be here a few weeks. Yeah. You guys are gonna be sick of us. The I'll good... be here all week. You actually, you'll be here for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is, is just we don't have to use any green screens. The what? We don't have to use a green screen tomorrow. We don't have to use a green no. screen tomorrow. We oh. can set up however we want. We're gonna film Dantix on Friday. Dantix will be live on Friday at five o'clock Pacific, eight o'clock Eastern, and, which is really late at night. And I'll have Crystal's job. Yes. Oh, that's gonna be so fun. You guys are not gonna want to miss that. It's and gonna we'll, be interesting. And then we'll record another podcast, another live stream, another Dantix, and then and another, another podcast. podcast before I go. Yeah, yeah, because you leave wow. Tuesday, so we'll be able to get in three like this before you go. I the last one's gonna be great. Welcome to this week's episode of the CC Mouse Podcast. How you been? All right. How about you? <laughs> All right. I got nothing. I got nothing. Let's let's go to the airport. But it's not for like eight more hours. Let's go to the airport. <laughs> You're going to be like, I want to go home. I don't want to be here anymore. No. I, you know, I I think you did get introduced to some humidity in Dallas today. I think it's going to be a little bit humid tomorrow, but after it rains Thursday, I it's supposed to drop back down into the 60s here, so it's going to be more that normal temperature. I can already tell by after being here today, my favorite time was Halloween time. It was it was I had weather. We had really yeah. I like the cold. Yeah. It wasn't ridiculously cold, but it was cold. Like right now, like right now the sodas and the drinks in the uh garage are not cold. Right. But the other times they were cold. And yeah. that was so cool to me. Just like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna put them in the fridge. Yeah. It was cold. Yeah, now is the time like of the, the year. Cold. Now is the time of the year where we usually start moving that stuff down into the basement fridge. So yeah, downstairs into the basement fridge and but the thing is is like even it's eighty degrees right now. This isn't normal for may almost june 80 is a little warm for us now it should be like in the 70s so like what we're experiencing these couple of days like i said within the next few days it'll drop back off and it won't be as hot it'll be a more comfortable it won't be as cold as when you were here in october and there was snow but like stuff bit me already when i was moving i was trying to do i was trying to do a favor welcome to mosquitoes i'm already getting bit by stuff welcome to mosquitoes stuff that i'm not used to seeing yeah we get we get mosquitoes Oh, They're boy. great. They'll suck your blood. I did see there was multiple kiosks that had uh, mosquito repellents when yeah. we were at the mire. Yes. I was like, oh no! I you can if I also need one get mosquito repellent bracelets. What? That sounds like those metal bracelets. That they make actually you heal. work. Um, you can get mosquito repellent bracelets. You can get citronella candles. Usually, like um, when you're out camping and stuff, you'll put a citronella candle on your picnic table and light it because they don't like the smell of that. So there's a there's a lot of way to combat the mosquitoes. Do the mosquitoes bite the pups? Um, yes, but they have flea and tick stuff on, and it repels mosquitoes. Oh. So they're just sleeping. Well, yeah, you ran around in the yard with them. It's um, it's twelve forty five. It's like nine forty five. No, it is twelve forty five. <laughs> My dogs are done for the day. You look like you're about done for the day. Well, I drove for like five hours. 
Oh, I sat and let somebody else drive an airplane while he threatened turbulence. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like well, At least I didn't threaten turbulence on you. No. Although I did take you down County Road, so I did take you down Old State Road. We didn't take County Road six twelve. We should have taken six twelve. Maybe maybe when we go when we go back we'll take six twelve. You're a quick one in the car, right, Di? <laughs> you're you're a quick one in the car. But I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I did lots of car I did, it was all that car riding this morning. So I got up at five o'clock my time, time. So it's eight o'clock your time. And yep. I got there at six twenty your time. Yeah. So it's like ten hours of travel. That's how it always is. Yeah. Yeah. It sucks because like no matter what you do when you're when you're coming from that, you you always end up getting here late. Like, yes, there's nothing you can do. There was no red eyes, but check this out. So there was a flight that le- left for left for Dallas at six. No, it was like five, seven, and then mine at nine. Right. They all had the same next flight to Trevor City. Yeah. So you try to pick the one closest to it because yeah. whoever left early in the morning was gonna have a twelve hour trip. Yeah. Because everybody got there and had to wait for all of us to get there to get on that little plane to, yep. to go up to Trevor City. So you had the shortest layover. I with had the, the shortest layover. You, yes. The to the point where the airlines emailed me and they're like, "Hey man, don't want to don't don't want to hang out with crowded people because your flight's getting full. Rebook." And I'm like, "What do you mean rebook? And you could rebook for free." Yeah. Oh yeah. There was this limited changes. They don't care. They really Which just was- want to keep your money. Which you didn't want to rebook for, you know, like coming out here. But what if they tell you that when you get when you have to go home? I don't. I, that's that's bonus time. I, that's what I was. Remember thinking. Remember that lake you were telling me to go jump into? Yeah. If I get to the airport and they won't let me go, where I'm, I will go jump in that you lake. You go jump in the lake. I will go jump in that lake. I was trying to. I was trying to tell them to go swimming in a uh, Traverse City in Traverse Bay. I you know. There I was, was other people in the water. I was thinking about it, but I literally just got off the plane minutes Would've ago. Woke you up. Minutes ago. We got a lake here. You can jump in. I'm in. Is that the one I try to walk on the ice? Yeah, you can get in the water. That there. almost swept me away. I was yep. gonna die. You can. Uh, you can get. I would advise it like tomorrow while it's actually still hot. Why? <laughs> Before I change my mind? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We gotta. Actually... I know where there's a bridge you can jump off of too. I thought that same bridge that I went on. No, no, it's a little bridge. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> but I'll there's, do there's it. a bridge you can jump off. Of. We uh, used to go out swimming at it all the time. And jump off the bridge in the water. As long as it's not cold, I'm down. Uh, it's gonna be cold. <laughs> It's only, it's May. It's almost June, but it's going to be cold. It'll be cold. So that's all we've done so far tonight. And we've come in and podcast. Like we're still, we're still on this story. This story that we're telling now it's now. Like we've caught up, we've caught up to, to now where we're both sitting here. I'm sitting on the futon. You guys know the futon. I brought my own mic. I'm holding it in my hand like it's a popsicle. <laughs> and Jess's chair spun the other way. Yep. It's so much easier to podcast in the same room. Right? I know. We would never have to edit anything. True. Yeah, because yeah, I don't think you have to edit any of this. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm t- no, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm not, oh, I'm just gonna do this an intro. The unedited version. I have to make up something to talk about. We in the did kind of try to figure out. Um, I realized that I don't actually have like another comforter that I thought I had. So you get like a blanket. That's fine. But I have a comforter in the camper. But you're always trying to get me to go to the camper. Well, it's comfortable. But no, like I was going to bring the comforter. No, I know. That's what I told Jamie. I'm like, they don't want to sleep in the camper. The dogs aren't out there. That's no fun. Who's going to wake you up in the morning? Yeah, I don't. And she probably will. uh, By she, I mean Kira will probably wake you up in the morning. She's so out. She did last time. They're both out. Yeah. They look like Kodo clones. They kind of do. She's like, you could just get on the floor and snuggle me and I'll be the happiest (laughs) puppers in the world. She was so happy you were running around the yard with her. Oh, yeah. She was that like, was this fun. is the greatest. Somebody's going to play with me? I would yeah. totally do this. We were playing tag. I was yeah. it. I yep. was infinitely it. That's all she ever wants. She just wants people. I'll go out there almost every day, and I run around in the yard with her, and I do the, the game where, you know, she she wants she wants you to catch her. So she runs by, and I just reach out one hand and touch her. And she's gone. And she's gone. Yeah, she thinks it's the greatest thing ever. I don't, I, like, I don't try to grab her. I literally just touch her, but she thinks it's the greatest thing ever. Like, the greatest game in the world. Yes. Oh, she's got some new gifts. She does. She does. She does. I, what is it? Tenor.com slash gone to the snow dogs? Yes. Is or, that what it is? And Giphy too. You can search the keywords. Yep. What were the keywords? It was... Uh, you can search gone like, to the snow do dogs. Do stunts? No, no, no. Um, what was the flip one? Oh, oh. Uh, did we put the flip one up yet? I don't remember. There was the do my own stunts and the Mondays one. Yes. Mondays. Yes. Well, gone to the snow dogs or GT... GTTSD. TSD. Yeah, if you in your Giphy key or in your cute in your ones. GIF keyboard, if you type in GTTSD, and we won't spoil it, but see if you guys can find the new one of Jess. Oh yeah, I have one. There's too. one of Jess too, and if you guys find it in the thread on Facebook where we post the podcast, 
Just paste that gift in it. <laughs> Don't start a new thread. Just paste it in there and let's see how many people can find Jess's <laughs> Jess's gift. It's it's great. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, we've got some more of those. We'll have to get some more of those done while you're here too. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, like you know, a lot of people are gonna wonder why the heck you came out here. Dan came out here for work. Mm-hmm. As as crazy as it is, like you know, we know the whole COVID thing is going on, and you know, and I live where I live now. Our stay at home order has been lifted, which is nice because I live yeah. in the I live in a region of Michigan where the stay at home order has been lifted. But uh, Dan actually did come out here for work, so we actually have a massive amount of work to do like this and then a live stream tomorrow but look how fun this is it's still fun oh yeah i'm not saying it's not fun i needed to get out of dodge too like i've been in my house i my chair is uncomfortable i sit in at the desk yep flights are oh my gosh more than half off cheap i know i thought about buying my flight for vid summit even if it gets canceled like how do you not buy a 300 hundred dollar plane ticket right like because i normally spend almost 650 dollars to fly to vid summit I know. I want to go to Nova. I want to buy novice ticket now yeah yeah you uh you might want to consider that yeah because they're all about multiple banners on the top of the screen saying, we'll trade you for anything. Yep. Like they said, they just want to keep your money. They don't want to have to give you your money back. Yeah. Yeah, I got... Because I was supposed to go to St. George, Utah, and I ended up getting... That w- That flight cost me, before all the COVID stuff, uh, that flight actually cost me like $850. Mm-hmm. It was ridiculous. But there was yeah. no other route to go to get there because it was such a small airport. And I, I could have flew into Vegas and saved some money, but then I would have had to rent a car. So then I didn't really save any money. So do I just fly in where I was? And that was where you were going to p- come out and pick me up. Mm-hmm. And we were going to go to that uh, that summit together. Um, I forgot where I was going. I was on a train once. Oh, uh, the flight. So it was like $850 or something for the tickets. And... When I first tried to get my money back, Delta had wanted nothing to do with it. And I'm like, well, the event was canceled. But then a few days later was when everything really started to get shut down. And then they were offering credits. So I have $850 in flight credits to use. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, they didn't give me my money back. But that right now, for the cost of the flights, I could do Vid Summit. And when this, when that other summit gets rescheduled, which they're going to reschedule it, I can buy both those tickets for the price of what I bought one ticket for. Yeah, and, which is nuts. And I'll tell you what, I have never had a better flight experience than right now. I didn't feel threatened. I didn't feel in danger at all. Uh, right. All every time you turn around, everybody's just. I don't know if it's just like, all right, everybody, just wipe. <laughs> everybody was wiping and yeah. just wiping and wiping. It. Everything seemed super clean, and everybody was kind of. Re- they were pretty much respecting space. Well, what, what did they? What did I have to explain to you when we went to Meyer and you tried to grab the wrong carts? Oh, that they wiped down all those carts. Yep, every one of them. They got a guy out there, a guy or a lady, every single cart that comes in. They have the carts that come in, and then they wipe them down, and they put them in the middle. So they, they do all that. And uh, after, like, we used the self-checkout, he'll go through and he'll wipe those at, right after before anybody else uses them. That's why I, that's why I shop at Meijer, because they're, they're in there, and they're they're doing all that. And I don't know if you saw, I don't know if they're doing that out where you're at, but if you go to a regular register, they have all the plexiglass. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I yeah. figured most places have started doing that. Um but yeah, that's uh, that's why I still shop at Meyer. They sh- they wipe down all the carts and they I don't know they just seem to be doing everything right. Although they, the one way aisles we did have to walk backwards down. That's and it's so weird. <laughs> they have the you guys have seen by now the lanes on the ground that now say one way. Yeah. So in my town, there's too many people to make that joke. There's so nobody at the Meyer that Jess was like, "Look, this is what we do," and then she started walking down the one way aisle backwards. Yeah, because if it's backwards, so it's, defiant. It's just like if you came down the aisle forwards, but then you had to back up to get something. So you just I did walked it. down it backwards. I did it, but I, I was hunched down. There was nobody there. The cameras. Oh my gosh, what are they gonna do? They're gonna come after you. Yeah. If there was, if there's people there, I respect the one way aisles. When there's no, literally no. How many cars were in the parking lot? Five. There was more employees there, like <laughs> there ten was, to one. Yep, than, there was more employees than, than people than us that's the best part about going there late at night there's nobody there yeah it makes it the best like yeah, those plastic shields are everywhere at our town i did yeah. see a photo at a casino where they had these shields up at the blackjack table that's that's gonna be crazy i know it's all fogging up did <laughs> I you don't, say hit or stand i can't tell i don't know i don't know if our casinos I, some of the casinos up north are open but i, I haven't seen pictures of them from inside them from anybody yet like i that's something i haven't seen the deli opens monday this coming monday the deli will be open yeah and i think we have to put the plastic shields up there's like a whole list of regulations and rules that we have to follow um for reopening which i mean it's all stuff we're of course we would do anyway but uh one of the things was the plastic shields my brother didn't know that like i told i'm like we got we gotta put a plastic shield and he's like really and i'm like yeah and he's like well we'll do it but i didn't he didn't know that so i sent him the list i'm like these are all the things like 
We like when people come because we can open to fifty percent capacity at the deli. So when people come into the deli, they can sit down and eat. But we can't, we're only allowed to have half the tables we have now. Mm-hmm. You know, half the seating. And you're supposed to wear a mask when you order. But then once you sit down at the table, you're allowed to take it off. What if instead of having the plastic shields, we just wrapped everybody in saran wrap like the employees? It's the same thing. I mean, that might work. Yeah, but they look like a to-go order. <laughs> it that might work. Are we gonna go down there when they open? Yeah. Yeah, we might have to work. All right. You guys want a sandwich from Dan? <laughs> we we should, we'll have to get a poster board so you can stand out there yes. and be like, we're re- re- grand reopening. Oh, uh, yes. Dan will make a sandwich. It starts with two fresh pieces of bread, mayonnaise and mustard that's only in the middle, but too lazy to spread all the way to the edge. <laughs> Three to five to a half a pack of meat, depending on what I grab. <laughs> Some lettuce, maybe pepperoncinis or pickles, depending on what's closest to the top of the fridge when I open it. <laughs> yes. And pretzel bread. And pretzel bread. Oh, yeah, pretzel bread. The deli is so good. I'm so, I came out here at the right time. Yeah, you I did. I may not have come out here if I knew the deli wasn't reopening. Yeah, yeah. It would have it, it would have been different because we... Every time you come out here, we go there almost every day. Yes, no, so every even day. the next <laughs> couple of days, the next three days are going to be weird. Well, tomorrow we have a lunch date. Mm-hmm. So we have to go meet some people tomorrow. So that'll be that'll be fun. And then I have no idea. Thursday and Friday, I have no idea. We'll have to figure something out for lunch wise because the deli's not open. I mean, maybe we'll go up there anyway. But <laughs> yeah, did you have the key? I do have a key. And yeah. they did get their truck. So uh, I when I talked to my mom today, they got the truck. They got their order. They got the the stuff they ordered. So it looks like we should be good to go to uh, get the doors back open. Which is, ex- I'm excited, but at the same time, I'm scared because. Like, our local big boy reopened to 50% capacity, and I went by there the other day, and there's still, like, nobody there. So, like, there's that, is it worth it to put all these people back to work? Are we going to be able to afford it? What do we do? So, it's it'll be interesting. I, I think we'll get really, uh, we'll be really, really busy when we open because people miss us, and, like, people have already said, you know, we, I want my TBT, and I want my Hammy Sammy, so... I think it'll be okay. People it, or Jamie? Because that sounds like something Jamie would say. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. And then you know everybody relearning what they have to do to be able to come in there, and you know what, what we have to do for deliveries and stuff like that. It'll be a it'll be an experience, and hopefully soon enough it'll all just go back to normal. Have you shaken your last hand now that all this stuff's happened? Me? Yeah. No. No. I'm bowing. You're bowing from now or, on? I don't know. Yeah, but the bow's already taken, so I'm going to have to do some sort of sideways bow you or some curtsy. sort of... Oh, yeah. <laughs> curtsy. Yeah. I can sashay. Uh, no, I I don't think I've not... I actually shook somebody's hand the other day that I met at... Uh, it was... As silly as it was, it was at a social distancing thing we were doing, and I still shook... Living like, on the edge. Still shook the guy's hand. Living on we the had edge. hand sanitizer. We'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get out of here, Jess. It's well after your, our bedtimes. It is one in the morning. It's ten. It's one. <laughs> You're in Michigan. It's one in the morning. My problem is West Coast time. I've been staying up to like two in the morning. Yeah. So this is going to be an interesting one. Yeah. But I'm full of energy. But you know what? This time, when I send you the file for the podcast, it won't take me like 12 hours. Holy cow. I, I asked you for the <laughs> file for the podcast last week. A day went by. Yeah, full day. The next day, you didn't. I asked you again, and then instead of asking ten more times, I just wanted you to feel bad, so I just didn't ask you anymore. <laughs> but yes, at least it's right here in front of me, and I can just go it ahead is. and hit upload. Yeah, you could easily just do it yourself. Yes. Be like, hey, here's here it is. Yep. So anyway, real quick, tomorrow, eight o'clock pac- Eastern, uh, five well, o'clock it'll Pacific. Be today, because the podcast goes up on uh, Wednesday. Right, oh, Don't today. confuse people. Oh my people. gosh! Yes, today Wednesday. Today Wednesday. Today Wednesday. At the when- Funcast YouTube.com slash CC Maps Podcast. Wednesday, May twenty seventh. Yes. Well, we're going to hang out right here on this very couch. It's going to be so crazy. Yes. So we just wanted to guys, we just wanted to give you guys an update since it was a big travel day. Yeah. On what's going on. Yeah, it was a very big travel day. It was it was fun though. Like mm-hmm. I like I was I was glad to like drive somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it felt it feels almost a little normal. Yeah. Yeah. And like even like being in Traverse City and seeing all the people like like we saw all the people on the lake. I was excited to see all those people fishing. Yeah, fishing like, on the lake. Yeah, it just felt I don't know. It felt like home again. It felt, it, and maybe not necessarily normal, but it felt comforting. I think is more the word. Like I just felt like, wow, people are people are starting to do their things again. Yeah, and this would be close to the time that we'd go to VidCon. 
Yeah, yeah. VidCon was usually what the second or third week in June. Yeah. So so instead of summer camp here, woot. yeah. Oh, we should have invited everybody. I know, right? Oh, maybe we'll have to come back. <laughs> yeah, we'll be at the deli on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Should I wrap it up? Sure. That'll do it for this week's episode of the CC Moss Fo- Podcast. <laughs> That'll do it for this week. Oh, I said it in my head three times before I did it. Don't don't laugh. <laughs> That'll do it for this week's episode of the CC Miles Podcast. Find us everywhere on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube at CC Miles Podcast. Rep our merch at CC Miles Podcast shop, and we'll see you guys next week. Same mouse time, same mouse podcast, and in person. Mm-hmm. So much easier. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hey, we did a thing. Yes. In, in real life, we can cheers microphones. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>